Hello and welcome to the Discover channel. Today, we're gonna review a beast of a gaming keyboard. Now, when I say that this is a budget tech channel, I really do mean it. We do particularly look at more lower end stuff when it comes to this YouTube channel. But today, ladies and gentlemen, we're going premium and I mean premium. So right now what I have holding by my fingertips is worth $200, so I should probably be a little bit careful when it comes to uh, handling with this, but for you guys who haven't figured out the memo yet, this is the brand new Corsair K95 Platinum RGB Gaming Mechanical Keyboard featuring Cherry MX Speed Silver switches. And we're gonna see what all the hype is about this new product and uh, what's the huge deal about it. So to start off the review, the first thing that I immediately took into account was that this thing is $200. And at first I kind of assumed the price as I was unboxing the product. I was like, maybe it was 180 or 170, but no, this thing is $200 flat. And that got me wondering why the price increase Corsair? Because if you actually compare this keyboard to the old K95, the old K95 was a very similar keyboard, yet it had more programmable keys on it, which would have added more to the cost of the overall keyboard, yet these two were the same price. So that's where Detective Scatterbolt and I came into play, and we came to a solid conclusion over this K95 keyboard and saw what all the huge deal was about. But how about real quick, let's stop giving Corsair a hard time and let's just give a moment to appreciate the packaging that is behind the K95. You guys, by far Corsair, have one of the best product unboxing experiences out there, like with your very flashy, color-coded, and well-sorted items. Except I would have liked to see that this keyboard come with like an enclosure to hold your spare keycaps and like a keycap remover, like the G-Skill KM780, because that actually has its own compartment that can attach to the keyboard itself. And for 200 bucks, Corsair, I would have liked to seen something like that in the box that, you know, with what you pay for. And as for what you get inside the box, you get the keyboard itself with a wrist pad, custom keycaps with a keycap remover, and obviously the manuals and warranties. As for the keyboard itself, compared to the 2016 Corsair K70, which is quite visually similar to this keyboard, the K95 Platinum has some very nice premium build quality on it. That seems to be a trend among a lot of my keyboard review videos, but if you were to really get a hands-on experience with this K95 Platinum, you would really feel that this keyboard is actually kind of on a whole nother league for how well made it is. Its keys are by far the best I've ever used. I don't know what you guys did with the coding on the K95 Corsair, but whatever you did, keep on doing it because compared to the keys on my K70, those keys felt much more like not so satisfying to touch and they felt a little bit more rough compared to the K95. The K95 has some very smooth and just well-sized keycaps. So keep on doing what you're doing with the K95 and future Corsair keyboards. Also, this keyboard has hands down the best RGB lighting I have ever seen. The lights used on this keyboard are premium. They aren't your like standard RGB keyboard lights that you'd find in any other mid-range keyboard. These RGB lights look much better and give off some much better colors versus some of the other RGB keyboards that I've reviewed in the past. Also, the K95 now has this RGB light line that's kind of at the top of the keyboard and it kind of blends in with the Corsair logo, which I think looks really cool. But um, the brushed aluminum build for the most part is still the same. And all around, the keyboard for the most part is just kind of like an overall upgrade to the K95, but there's a few small differences like the volume scroller this time around has a dark silver finish rather than a dark matte finish that's on the K70, probably to give truth to the name Corsair Platinum. But regardless, one design change for the better that the K95 Platinum features over previous Corsair gaming keyboard models is that you can thread and manage slash shorten your keyboard cables a bit through the bottom of the keyboard with some engraved cable grommets, which I could see being a nice thing for wanting to strive for the cleanest possible looking desk setup, having that built in cable management into the keyboard itself. Now, how about my own personal experience with the K95? Well, I can safely say that this is hands down 
the best gaming keyboard I've ever experienced so far throughout my entire PC gaming career. Like I said in the intro, this keyboard uses Cherry MX Speed Silver Switches, which I've never used before, and I'd say that they are right now probably my favorite key switches to use. To me, they feel like the right blend between a Cherry MX Brown and a Cherry MX Red key switch. And as for typing, it's pretty sensational, but the Cherry MX Speed Silvers, they actually have a lower actuation point, which means the key doesn't have to travel as far. So you can just bang out the keys pretty quickly with this keyboard and pretty much anything. And I will say having these speed silver switches for gaming felt great because rather than having the mechanical key switch just going straight down and up like the blues or browns, there's a bit of weight to the keys that makes them easier to press and for like rapidly clicking keys. An obvious example I could put out there would be that double jumping with these key switches do feel a lot better on these silver speed switches versus like blues or browns. Yet again though, the difference between these speed silver switches and other Cherry MX switches I would say are not like deal breakers, but these switches do by far feel the best overall for gaming and typical PC use. They've got the right combination of everything. And as for the programmable switches, I know that there's only six rather than 18 on the previous K95 keyboard, but when I played some Guild Wars 2 and I did some custom key binding, I only ended up using four of those six programmable keys. So you should be covered if you were to use those, but I would say though, six programmable keys should be enough unless you're gonna like be a huge wow junkie who just needs tons and tons of programmable keys. So who is the K95 Platinum Gaming Keyboard for? Well, here is something I will admit. If I pay $200 for this out of my own pocket, I would say that I have been generally satisfied with this purchase and I have spent my money on a very nice keyboard. And there isn't much to complain with the K95. And the build quality and gaming experience are definitely the best on the market. And if you're gonna have one of those, you know, really nice looking YouTube desk setups that you see all the time on YouTube, then the K95 Platinum is is going to look fantastic. It's the best looking gaming keyboard I've seen up to date. And when I finally get to build my new desk for my apartment that I'm eventually going to live in for college, I'm definitely gonna have the K95 a part of my new dope desk setup. So for $200, if you can afford it, I would highly recommend looking at this keyboard over any other exclusively in this price range. And if you have something like $180 sitting out there, definitely pony up the extra $20 for this and you'll be thanking me later. So so far, the K95 Platinum RGB with silver speed switches, in my opinion, is the best gaming keyboard so far for 2017, unless someone decides to one-up it. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching the review video. As usual, make sure to like, subscribe, and all that, and this is the Scavel Channel, signing out.